Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 56 tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can count the number of files as well as see all the files in a particular folder using Perl. So I've got a script opened up here. It's called uh, find underscore files and in this script on line number three I have created a scalar variable called source which has uh, you know uh, the path to a folder called Perl scripts within the documents folder on my system and uh, if I would browse to this Perl scripts folder uh, you you can see that I have uh, all the script files that we have used in uh, the tutorials in this course so you know there are 62 files in this folder and uh, I am not just pointing to the folder uh, I'm actually pointing to all the files in the folder that have uh, the .pl extension. So the asterisk here means that the file name could be anything. As long as the extension is .pl, we are interested in that file. The next thing that we're doing is we are creating an array variable called list and I'm doing that using the add the rate symbol here and to it I'm assigning all the file names which have the .pl extension and I'm doing that using the glob or the glob function so you type glob and then within parenthesis you pass uh, the the scalar variable source that we have just created here on line number three uh, now that we have all the files that satisfy this particular condition we can obtain the number of files in the folder easily by simply passing the scalar value of this list to a scalar variable called size and we could use a scalar function for it but uh, we don't really have to do that even uh, an, an equality operator an equal to symbol between the scalar operator the scalar variable and the list variable uh, would do the job and that's what we're doing here on line number six and then on line number eight I have a print statement that's first going to display the text the total number of files in the directory and then it's going to actually show the number of files right so that as I said is 62 and then finally uh, you know if you would just see the contents of the uh, array variable list then you would see uh, full path name right so let's say there's a file called uh, argument so you would see C drive users and then mother and then documents and then Perl scripts and then uh, arguments.pl so I've counted the number of characters uh, from C here till the forward slash here and that comes out to 38. So I do not want to see the first 38 characters. I'm just inter interested in seeing the names of the files and that's why I've got a for each loop here on line number 10 and I'm going to iterate over the contents of this array variable list and then inside the for each loop on line number 12 I have a print statement that's going to use the sub string or the sub str function and it's going to um, you know pick one file name at a time and it's going to start displaying 38th uh, uh, index onwards right and uh, of course after displaying each file name it's going to print uh, the new line character so that we see the next file name on a new line I'll make sure that this file is saved when I press F5 and I scroll to the top I first see the total number of files in the directory is 62 and then uh, after uh, a, a, a gap of a line I see all the file names so args underscore number dot pl and arguments dot pl and remember if I don't use this for each loop and if I just uh, you know print the contents of uh, atlas then as I said we would see full path names and you know that is obviously uh, not very pleasant to the eye so I hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to see you in the next tutorial till then take care